at the California Institute of Human Science, which is where I met Philip. They were doing two years of testing on him. They were testing his brain waves. They were testing his um, before and after of all his patients for two years. He broke the records in all cases. In one case, it went off the charts. Uh, the chart didn't have a, a limit for, uh, for his results. It was a kidney failure. And all of a sudden, after one treatment, burst of energy into the kidney, the person is revitalized with health, but maintained it's documented for several years. Also at the California Institute, they have a shielded room. It's called the Faraday Cage, and they're very proud of it. There's very few of them built, and it's built to uh, block electromagnetic waves. People at the Institute were documenting Philip. So the idea was for Philip to do a processing while in the shielded room. If there was an effect from his processing uh, that was observable in the subjects while he was in that shielded room, that his technology has little or nothing to do with electromagnetism. Uh, uh, and electromagnetism is a structure of our physical world. So that what he is doing is taking place at a much more fundamental level. And that's exactly what happened. The effects were astoundingly dramatic. Um, and document that uh, Philip does, in fact, take care of the cause of the problem. That's what he's known to do. He goes at the cause, and then the effects show the psychological, emotional, spiritual, and physical. That's a, a symptom. Those are the symptoms of his treatment. Um, also, what they did at this institute and at the other institutes in California, other doctors and researchers got in on this and um, mapped his brain, the EEG standard way and then another way called the brain mapping. In one case, the brain mapping that was done shows a picture of the alpha band, and it increased from resting to processing state 40 times, not 40 percent, 40 times what it started out at. These scientists have never seen anything like this ever from a human brain. 